you know, I used to, you know, I used to work at a, an Anglo church. We had this church where it's like a whole mix of uh, congregations. Then five congregations, I think. And I worked in the Anglo. There was a Filipino, Egyptian, there was Hispanic. But there's an Anglo church and um, it's very interesting because uh, not only was I the only non-Anglo that you see up on the stage, mm -hmm. but I was also mostly the youngest one. <laughs> and I think that's kind of important, you know, for people to see that, oh, you know, there's somebody who's young and oh, yeah, yeah. looks different. I think in the same way, you know, when young people see some, when all they see in leadership are like first gen. <laughs> yeah. Um, not that that's, that's wrong or that's bad, but it would be good if they see somebody like, oh, that's kind of like me. I can serve here too. Yeah. You know, I can do something in this church too. Like mm. Henrik, <laughs> you know, so I think it's important what people see. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's kind of like with the multi-ethnic churches, something that they strive for is having different uh, ethnicities who are in leadership. Because if you have a different ethnicity, uh, someone who looks like you in leadership, that does a lot of makes a lot of difference, right? But that's for another topic. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Seeing a second gen who's in leadership. Or leading worship, even just leading worship, that's like a, an encouragement. Yeah. It makes them feel that they're, they belong at that church. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and you know, that's, that's kind of the start. Right? If I see somebody like me leading something, then I'll say to myself, oh, I can also do something like that. Or maybe I'll start a Bible study. If he can do it, I can do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, definitely.